Here's your idiot car guys. Hi y'all. Jeff back here with the idiot car guys. So what we have here is not a Mercedes Benz. So um, I picked this up. Uh, this is for my other daughter because uh, she's moved out of the uh, uh, Omaha area, moved back closer to home. And with her pickup, uh, she's got a Ram 1500 that gets about 16, 18 miles to the gallon on the highway. Uh, she was looking for something that uh, uh, was a little bit better on gas. So I found the cheapest, and I say the cheapest, uh, Infinity Q35X on the planet. So I actually got this from a... Uh, a friend of mine that uh, he bought it and it was going to be a little project car for him but you know just never got around to it so the car is you know it's got bumps and bruises it's not perfect I mean uh, one of the things when I when I kind of test drove it was the uh, uh, the right brake you could just feel it just thumping and come to find out yes the uh, uh, there was no inside pad it was pretty much gone and so the caliper was sitting there just really just beating on uh the the uh, rotor and so kind of assumed just by doing all the troubleshooting that it uh it needed rotors and pads for sure and i ordered a a you know a used caliper just in case that the caliper was a failure point Caliper was fine. Uh, we went ahead and uh, changed the rotors and the pads. Got great br uh, front brakes now. In fact, we even put uh, uh, slotted rotors on it, uh, uh, which is just a little bit better than the OEM manufacturer. But I got a kit on eBay uh, that had pretty much everything. Uh, the rotors and the pads uh, out of uh, Detroit. In fact, it's Detroit Axle. Uh, of course, it said they were made in China. But, you know, at this point, this is a cheap car, so... You know, quite frankly, you know, I'm not going to put uh, the know-how guys parts on this. And, and in fact, uh, uh, my other daughter's uh, boyfriend actually changed them out. So we had to do wiper blades. Uh, the uh, windshield is cracked. Uh, like I said, it's got some bumps and bruises and things like that. It sat pretty much all winter long uh, from the, the, the guy I bought it from. But uh, after charging the battery up overnight, uh, the thing starts up. And it runs pretty good. I'm going to take the uh, camera off of the uh, um, tripod and I'm going to do a little walk around of it. I mean, again, this is kind of a daily driver car. You know, it's not one that uh, uh, I'm going to put a lot of money into it, but we'll, we'll actually keep it, you know, we'll be safe with it. You know, make sure that she can get to and from... Uh, uh, to and from work. Now I've got a couple of videos I'm gonna we're gonna insert uh, here uh, of uh, me following the vehicle uh, coming home and there are some other things that you know if we want to keep this car going um, you know we'll have to do some struts and and various different things. This car has over 200,000 miles on it and she actually runs pretty good so let me come up here and take the camera uh off the tripod and we'll actually walk around and uh uh you know just kind of give you an idea what the, what it looks like so quite frankly uh you know as far as the hood and things like that not too bad uh, now over the winter months somebody had hit the mirror here and knocked uh, knocked out the pieces. We actually have the pieces. We might actually try and glue them back together. Uh, but overall, you know, there's a scrape back here. You know, it's it's kind of a pronounced scrape. It's got chrome wheels on it, of course. Right now, uh, that wheel doesn't match that wheel. Come to find out, the actual wheel was in the trunk. So uh, it's got three brand new tires, and I don't know why they didn't do the fourth one on the rim but it was in pretty bad shape uh the uh back end looks pretty good you know uh when i was following it the third brake light didn't work but 
you know, it's there. Uh, but overall, you know, not too bad a car. Like I said, it's got decent tires. Now, I just went and drove it a little bit. Oh, it's got a little dent right here, looks like. Uh, I just went and drove it a little bit. And it is pulling very, very hard to the right uh, when you're accelerating. So I don't know if we've got a half shaft issue or, um, you know, something going on, but it's in while it's uh, in motion. So uh, we're going to check. I'll have to have, you know, check that out. Could be an alignment issue. I, who knows? I mean, you know, this car, from what it looks like, which I know it's been sent, it's sitting since, you know, October, November of last year uh sitting where it was sitting um but i really don't know how long it had been sitting before then except for the fact that i know it was under trees because uh, you open up the trunk and the the troughs uh were actually uh, filled with uh, grime and and so forth um, i'll go ahead and pop the trunk and oh yeah we've already gotten new key fobs oh yeah there you go uh just because it didn't come with any and got them to work so this car can lock uh but you know you're looking in the trunk but these troughs here were just full of leaves and debris and you can still see there's a little bit left there but it kind of got that cleaned out a little bit uh you know again twelve hundred dollars folks uh this was a uh, you know need some help you know, here's the back seat. Uh, there's a few little tears and so forth uh, in the um, in the back seat. But one of the things, you know, uh, my daughter's going to do, she's going to actually clean it up and probably dress up the leather a little bit. But this thing has got recliners for the uh, uh, individualized seats on the back, and so they actually. I don't know if you can see it, but it. Uh, uh, brings the chair for you know the seat back forward and you pull it and it lays right back down kind of hard for me to do with the with the camera in my hand but back seat's not too bad needs some clean up little dress up front seats well that's a different story uh pretty man pretty nasty tear there pretty nasty tears there in the leather so you know the the quality of leather in this isn't uh uh isn't that great uh this door panel here probably can be glued and tucked back in there and that's what we're going to at least try but you know overall it's filthy it's dirty but we're going to jump in and i'll actually start it so you can hear it run Not too bad, and it does have 230,419 miles on it. Has automatic climate control, and one of the coolest things in it. Oh, now what the heck? Well, what the heck is that buzzing sound? Uh, let's turn. Let's turn off the. Oh, that was the climate control. That was the fan. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, sure is vibrating around in there. But let me show you one cool thing. Up pops the GPS. And uh, the GPS unit is inside here. It's a DVD. Of course, it's going to be way out of date since this is a 2004. Let me turn this radio down. Uh, but that's where the GPS is housed. And uh, let's see here. We want it in English language. And I agree. Although, who knows? It's not a touch screen. Let's see. Push to enter. There we go. And then there's the GPS. Folks, that is interesting having that pop up out of there. But you know what? That's kind of cool. Let's try and put this uh, auto climate control. We don't want AC. Yeah, we got a, we have a vibrating, we have a vibrating fan motor, and I have to figure out where in the heck that's at. Well, 
well that's something gonna have to chase that is very annoying it's like the fan motor is just jumping out of its uh, 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 <laughs> case or whatever but car does have a sunroof or a moonroof I guess is what you really call that but overall you know not too bad for a, a cheap car so folks <coughs> I'm going to stop the video for just a second. Um, I'm going to let uh, a couple of video, you know, a couple of the uh, uh, driving videos play, uh, and then we'll pick this up and then uh, uh, close out the video. Hold on, thanks. Meanwhile, Jeff back here uh, as we're transporting this. Uh, uh, Infinity. Now this Infinity's got 230, 230 some thousand miles. When I do a walk around of the car, we'll uh, uh, divulge all that information. But uh, it seems like the car seems to be running really good, running at about 70 miles an hour out on the highway uh, north of uh, Fremont, Nebraska, on our way back to uh, Idiot Car Guys headquarters. More to come. As I'm watching this car, as we uh, are driving up the highway, um, I can see a couple things from uh, from the distance that we're going to need to address. More uh, in addition to the things that uh, uh, we've already or already know about. As we continue to make our way home. Uh, with the Infinity on the 42-mile uh, journey. Uh, seems to be continuing on down the highway uh, just fine. Uh, I do see some things that, uh, in addition to the things that I already know about, that need to be uh, uh, need to be fixed. Um, one of which is looks like it's going to need some struts on the rear. I can't tell from this angle on the front, but, uh, you know, those are kind of maintenance items and a vehicle that uh, is has over 200,000 miles on it uh, I would say that they're probably wore out but uh, more to come thanks well another three or four miles have passed and so far so good haven't had to uh, stop and uh, uh, check out the car uh, but again I do see uh, where so at least some rear struts uh, are in order, but uh, uh, not seeing any clouds of smoke or anything coming out of the car. Uh, it seems to be uh, driving pretty good, but yes, it does have a little bounce in the in the rear. So some rear rear struts will be uh, uh, in order uh, pretty shortly for that uh, for that car. And then of course finding somebody to put them on. Uh, but. Uh, uh, we'll keep uh, keep on the journey, and we'll be back shortly. Well, another six miles has gone by, and we're in the next town, and seems like the car's doing fine. Uh, we've got about six more miles until we take the turn off and go east towards uh, uh, towards uh, the town uh, of Takema, where uh, uh, the idiot car guys and Jeff cars are. Uh, uh, housed. More to come. Well, folks, we're about to wrap up the 42-mile uh, journey home from where uh, the car was uh, uh, at, and uh, uh, we made it uh, without any catastrophic events. Didn't stop, didn't pull over. Uh, noticed a few things obviously as we as discussed uh, but uh, uh, the car made it so we get to we get to the house then uh, uh, it's gonna be uh, starting to work on the car kind of go through it a little bit more in detail uh, already know of some of the things that we need to do so uh, you know we'll keep you posted along the way actually do a full video of uh, of it, uh, and we'll uh, um, well. It looks like we had oh, 
Oh, looks like they pulled over to the left. Oh, I see what's going on. All right, well, now I know what uh, they wanted me to go to the house first. So, um, all right, well, folks, there we go. Uh, I'm leading the way now, and we'll pick this up later. Thanks. Okay, folks, we're back here. Hey, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Just to re recap, this is a 2004 Infiniti G35X. It is a uh, uh, all-wheel drive uh, Infiniti, and uh, uh, inside this, uh, inside the engine compartment, um, it is not a transverse engine. So this engine actually goes forward back uh, because it is an all-wheel drive uh, uh, all-wheel drive vehicle. So. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please submit them down uh, in the comment section below. Uh, we certainly uh, uh, we certainly like you, you know, to give us some comments or feedback, uh, as we would, uh, you know, we welcome that. I mean, quite frankly, folks, this is probably the cheapest, you know, in today's times, this is probably one of the cheapest cars uh, that uh, you know you're going to be able to find. But again, you kind of have to. We got to do some work to it. I mean, there's still a few things to sort out. So, you know, like uh, I've already done the brakes. Oh, I actually did put uh, uh, two new serpentine belts on it because this actually actually has a two belt system. Uh, the front rotors and pads. Uh, now, as you saw earlier, uh, now you got to figure out or chase uh, the uh, uh, the fan motor for the climate control. Why all of a sudden it worked just fine just earlier this morning and now it's uh, uh, vibrating uh, like crazy. So something else to sort through. But hey, that's what you get when you got a $1,200 car. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, share it with your friends. Put your comments down below. We appreciate it. Thank you.